Hi, this is Shubham from Monist View and today in this podcast we are going to talk about 3 best strategies to deal with during a high volatility market. If you want to read the full article about this then the link of article is provided in description. Also if you want to watch a quick summary of less than 90 seconds then subscribe to our YouTube channel Monist View. So let's discuss what are the 3 best strategies over here. But before that we need to understand the relationship between markets and volatility. Strategy to deal with market volatility range from very complex hedging to very simple doing nothing. While long term market trends are up, the path especially in a short term can be extremely volatile. In fact, most of the mutual fund investors make a lower return than the mutual fund track record because they enter and exit at a wrong point. Most of why this happens is that they are unable to deal with volatility. It is also important to remember that market volatility is inevitable. Volatility is a measure of risk and therefore there is a risk reward curve on which different assets sit. Crypto is very volatile and expected return from it is comparatively very high. Your saving account is not volatile and therefore your returns from such investments are very low. When you invest in an asset, understand how much it swings and signs up only if it fits your goal. Over here, discuss about three best strategies to deal with market over the first one is asset allocation. As a part of your investment strategy, you use your saving to buy asset from financial markets which could either be a company stock or government bonds or even gold. Each asset class reacts differently under various market conditions and to the real world events. For example, in the time of a war-like situation, stocks and debt markets may plumb while gold prices appreciate. Over here, we can easily correlate with a recent Russia-Ukraine crisis. So the idea of a well-balanced portfolio means your asset allocation earns you on an average steady return on an investment. Overly designed portfolio could mean that you may not be a successful in achieving your financial goals which could either be your child's education or buying a new car or a house or even for your retirement corpus. You must have a holistic approach to your portfolio. If you have rupees 100, invest it across a different asset classes that have varied risk return profile. If you do this right, your portfolio as a whole will not be a very volatile. In case a point is the day Putin invaded Ukraine, if you held some gold in your portfolio during with equities, your portfolio would have far less volatile than someone who say own mostly a small cap. That's because gold goes up when there is a macro uncertainty. The flip of a coin is that you should remember when there is an upside, no one asset class will have a dramatic impact on the performance. Therefore, in a bull market, your return may be lower than the pure equity portfolio. However, the point of asset allocation is to get your target return to meet goal and avoid as much as risk and volatility as you can in the process. Therefore, it removes any FOMO effect that is fear of missing out as well as JOMO effect that is joy of missing out from investing. The second strategy in volatile market you can adopt is simply buy the dip. Buy the dip means purchasing an asset after it has dropped in price. The belief here is that the new lower price represents a bargain in the dip is only for a short term blip and the asset with time is likely to bounce back and increase in value. Buying the dip has a several contexts and different odds of working out profitably. Depending on the situation, some traders see that they are buying the dip if an asset drop within an otherwise a long term uptrend. They hope the uptrend will resume after the drop. Turn the volatility into an advantage by buying more of an asset that you believe in. Buy the dip is a great strategy for investing more in an index, product or a stock that you have a strong conviction around. If volatility doesn't make you nervous, use a correction to your advantage and average your cost down. The third strategy you can apply in a volatile market is simply doing nothing. If you are comfortable with your investment, this is a correct strategy 
strategy to tackle the volatility the more you zoom into the markets every week every day every minute is more and more volatile the more you zoom out the return curve looks smoother on average all the years equity returns are made in just 15 to 20 trading days it is impossible to know what those days are and time the market hence investor who wants to make an equity return must contend with equity volatility volatility is a part and parcel of a markets and which provides a return that's why if you have a conviction of the stock that hold that for considerably longer period of time and during volatile times do nothing in case if you don't have a cash if you have cash then buy the dip so now let's discuss what is the bottom line over here in conclusion i must give a very a boring advice ignore the noise new cycle have a long term approach to investing and relook at your asset allocation periodically in only way systematic wealth creation volatility is the opportunity for long term investor as well as part and parcel of a market asset allocation buying the dip and do nothing if you don't have any cash these are the three best strategy to deal with the market volatility if you want to read the full article about this then the link of article is provided in description also if you want to watch a quick summary video for less than 90 seconds then subscribe to our youtube channel monistu over here shubham from monistu signing off thank you